Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube lands, it's your boy Tuglo, and today I'm here with the second part of the beginner's guide. Now, I've had a few people ask me this in my Discord server, and you know, I'm getting a, a few stragglers here left and right, you know, maybe down the down center. Uh, they're starting the game a little later than you know when I started when the first when the game first came out, and they're saying, Hey, Tug. How do I level characters and what's this ascension stuff and things of that nature. So today I wanted to make a quick little video on leveling your characters and ascending them and why they are so important to do these two things. So quickly right off the bat as we all know ascending and leveling characters is very important because it makes our characters stronger because we need to kill high level shit that that's the that right there is the best reason why you, you need to do it you know what i'm saying so uh the one thing i hear a lot hey tug how do i level characters how do i ascend characters i'm glad you asked so we'll start off by clicking the menu button and down in the bottom right hand corner we'll go to enhance once we go to this screen you'll see up here at the top you'll see server as i've highlighted it and you'll see ascension as i highlighted that and it also has a six on there for me to level up a specific unit you'll click the servant you'll tap the, the big plus sign and let's say you know i had someone like uh let's say uh this fella right here so we got a uh, we got this fella right here and we see that he is a rider class. I can tell that he's a rider class. If you can kind of see where my uh, finger was tapping the screen. Oh, let's go ahead and go back to that guy. We can see he's a little rider. He's a rider class by that little knight looking uh, symbol. Uh, knight chess piece looking symbol. So you'll go ahead and click anywhere on this thing right here. So I'll just tap there. And now you'll go and see all of these different kinds of cards. So you'll see the Saber cards. You'll see the Archer cards. I got a lot of those. A few Lancers. And then you'll see this Rider card right here. Right there. So if you use a Rider card for a Rider type unit, you'll get a little bit of bonus EXP. Now, if I were to use, let's say, a Caster card on a Rider unit... I won't get that little bit of bonus EXP. So the way that you'll use the EXP cards, it varies. You'll have a 1-star, 2-star, 3-star, 4-star. The higher stars they are, the more EXP you get. If you match the class type together, then the more EXP you'll get as well. So you get you got two different kinds of bonuses uh, to get. And they may or may not be extremely significant. I know when you start off lower level, it's, it, you zoom in. You zoom in on levels, man. If if I uh, if I use this thing right here, bam, thirty-two thousand four hundred e uh, estimated exp. I only need the a hundred to level up. Now we saw that that was thirty-two thousand four hundred. This one is ten thousand eight hundred, and that's a three-star same type uh, rider exp card. So you can see the differences in each star of the card and you can you know uh, let's see we'll go over here and you see that bonus you see that bonus difference i'd click the the rider card that's about what was that shit so let's see what is that twenty seven thousand. Oh, 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 oh. 27,000. yeah so it's about 5400 difference worth of exp so you definitely want to make sure you match the type that your unit has with the exp that's very very important that's 5400 exp points that you could potentially be missing out on don't do that to yourself now don't do that to yourself okay so now that we know how to level up our characters we'll say hey tug how do i get these cards that you're talking about great question so there are two different ways well there's a few different ways that you can get these cards so the first way we're going to click the summon button and we're going to scroll over to the side and you'll see this thing called the friend point summon. Now, every single day you get one free 10 roll for the friend point summon bless. 
The reason why that's a great thing is because you can pull anything from one to three stars, unit character or unit C or EXP cards. So you can potentially be getting three star EXP cards for the all class. Now, this is something that I did forget to mention. Uh, let me just go ahead and pick a uh, servant here. We'll go down here and we'll bring it all the way down. Now, there is a card that's called the all class card. So I can click this and we see that 32,400. Bam, baby. That means these types of cards right here that have the little, you know, big, uh, I guess, line, star, thingamabobbers beach ball kind of looking things uh in the top left hand corner of the picture these are related and usable for any class so let's say you know i didn't have any more rider uh exp cards i could use this one and it would pretend like it's a rider kind of like i would kind of assume this is like a, a a joker card kind of you know what i'm saying so uh now let's go ahead and go back so here like i said you can use the friend point summon you can use your friend points, which is in the top uh, of the middle to the right of your Saint Quartz. You can use these, and you could potentially get EXP cards. Well, now you say, Tug, I, I used up all my, my friend points. I didn't get that many EXP cards. What do I do next if I cannot get any EXP cards through the friend point? I'm glad you asked. Step two. We can go to shop. And then we'll go to exchange mana prisms okay we'll go to exchange mana prisms now as you see here we have these things i highly recommend that you clear these suckers out every month because they they come back and they uh they do a little refresh so you know i got about i need a hundred of these mana prisms and i can get these five summoning tickets now the great thing about this is i can also use my mana prisms to get these all exp cards so you know i exchange uh what is that 40 mana prisms and i can get an exp card set so that's another way to get exp cards well how do you get these mana prisms i'm glad you asked so you close all the way back out you go to chaldea gate go to the daily quest and bam you see these little things right here where it says if you complete the quest, you get that little green box looking thing. That's your mana prism, alright? So you'll do that. You'll finish these quests. So, you know, these quests I gotta do one time. These quests I gotta do three times. And these quests I gotta do one time. So you can do that. You get your mana prisms. Exchange your mana prisms at the exchange shop. Bada boom, bada bing. Dan, you got your exp cards well you say i ain't got no mana prisms tug what do i do i'm out of friend points i'm out of mana prisms what do i do baby 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 oh, calm down it's okay i got you baby all right so in this case which this will probably be the best case for you to get the exp cards it'll probably be the quickest and most efficient way for you to get the exp cards on monday tuesday thursday and friday now for us, it's kind of like splitting the days because it's uh, we're kind of basing things off of JP time. So when the server resets for JP at midnight, it's really, you know, 7 o'clock central time for me. So if I'm central time and it's refreshing at 7 o'clock, just apply accordingly. If you're eastern time, it's 8 o'clock. Uh, if you're California time, it's what? What is that? 7, 6, 5 o'clock. Whew time zone lord have mercy so that's when the refresh will happen so kind of once you uh figure out that we're like half a day kind of like you know right now today as of the making of this video i am in sunday morning so until later tonight at seven o'clock i'll be doing uh sunday stuff but when seven o'clock hits i'll be doing monday stuff then for most of monday i'll do monday but then 7 o'clock Monday night hits, I'll be doing some of Tuesday stuff. And that just rolls on and on and on, and you kind of get the hang of it. So once you find out, okay, hey, I understand on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I can get these EXP cards from the Red Quest. It's the Ember Gatherings, and they'll give you the 4-star EXP cards. Now, in order to get the 4-star, 
every single drop, you got to do the 40, the AP 40 quest. Well, if you can't do the AP 40 quest, just start with the ones that you can do. If you're starting off, do the 10, level up your servants, then do the 20, level them up, 30, 40, and then you just farm the 40 until you snowball effect all of your characters. Now, real quickly, I want to go to ascending your characters and why it's so important. Now we'll go back here. We'll go down to Ascension, in parentheses, uh, Servant Evolution. So we'll tap the big card slot. And as you see here, I have some people that say nothing on it. And I got some people that have available. Now, I have not ascended this Saber Lily. And as we can see, she needs four of the Saber Piece Monuments. I have 17. Now I can easily... Uh, ascend her and basically what that does is it allows her level cap to go from 40 to 50 and you know you ascend x amount of times you get to the highest level bada bing bada boom you're good to go so oh guess couldn't have done that so once you continue to ascend your characters some characters will get interlude quests depending on you know some sometimes it takes it to the third ascension and then they get their first interlude quest sometimes you get it after your first ascension you know it just it just depends just depending on the character but that lets them get to a higher level and it unlocks more abilities so for instance let's say uh let's say marie antoinette this girl right here if I wanted to ascend her, now you say, well, I saw some silver pieces. Why do I see some gold and some different pieces? Now, I, you know, I kind of wish it'd be a little easier, but the higher your character is, the more rarer, oh, English, the rarer pieces you'll need and the more pieces you'll need. So, you know, this, this little gold, say this gold, excuse me, rider monument, whew, this is, whew. That shit is not easy for me to come by. Now, some people are getting that shit left and right and center. Me? Huh? Lord have mercy on my soul, man. That shit's difficult for me to get. Now, the like I said, it helps your character get extremely strong, get some powered up, all that good stuff. Now, you'll say, well, give me an example of what it'll give me. So, we're going to go over here, and I'll just show you my, my Marie Antoinette. So, before I leveled her up and i ascended her she only had skill one which is the siren song and skill two which is the beautiful princess then i just finished her second interlude quest which was her third ascension uh the video will be somewhere over in this area i don't know maybe in the top right hand corner i don't know which way the top right hand corner is because i'm not looking at the mirror uh on my uh desktop so now I finished that interlude quest, which will be somewhere over yonder, and it gave me this skill right here. So I got God's grace. Uh, I got God's grace, that skill, and that's the type of thing that uh, you'll get with the more ascensions you do. I'm going to show you another one. Uh, with Waver, I had those two uh, skills, then I... Ascended him a few times, did his interlude quest, bada bing, bada boom, tactician's command. So you definitely want to do this. Now, you say, I know it's, it's difficult to ascend people. It's difficult to get their pieces. You know, how am I supposed to do that? Well, on certain days, being Thursday and Friday. Now, you got to remember the whole half time zone difference thing, my Bob. So keep that in mind. So on Thursdays and Fridays... That's where you can get, you know, those pieces that you had seen earlier. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you those pieces very quickly. So let's go to Marie Antoinette. You know, pieces like the horseshoe, pieces like, let's see what this boy got. Uh, the dragon's heart, pieces like the eternal gear. Those that, well, the eternal gear isn't out just yet, but you get the point. These pieces will come in a little later in the week, you know, Thursday, Friday, and some pieces aren't farmable just yet, but they are going to be farmable in the near future. Well, you say, Tug, where do I farm these? Right here, baby, right here. All right, so you see you got the Ember Quest, Ember Gathering right here, and you got the, the Money, the Money Maker right here. 
It'll be the green one right in the middle. The green one is where you're going to get your statues or your monuments. It'll get your void dust. It'll get any type of uh, gem that you need to increase your skills, uh, levels, increase, and ascend your units. Now, I just said increase your skill level, and this will be the last thing that I touch on for this video. Your skill level is going to be found over here. You hit enhance, and you'll hit skill. You'll, type, you'll tap and click a character. So, boom, I'm going to go to Marie Antoinette. Now, this little piece, Gem of Rider, this is found on that green middle quest. Now, it just depends on what day, what gems I'm needing, etc., etc. Now, let me go ahead and show you what you need. Now, look, you say, okay, level one, not too bad. You know, I could probably get it to, you know, six, seven, eight, right? Hell no. You need a lot of rare shit just to go to level five. God bless, man. Whew. God's grace. Huh? God bless. God grace. So, man, but real talk, you need some rare shit if you're going to get your shit to the high levels, man. But I'm telling you, when you get them maxed out, it increases the cooldown. So it might go from an eight turn cooldown to maybe like a six turn cooldown once it's at rank 10. I'm not too sure on the specifics for this particular unit, but it's definitely worth it, man. I'm telling you, there's a lot of good things that you can do to get your characters to the max, you know, possible output, man. So, like I said, this video was just wanted to kind of give you a little guide as to how to level, how to ascend, and then, you know, last but not least, how to increase your skill points and your skills abilities. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the making of this video. If you got any questions, please feel free to join my Discord server down in the description box below. And I got myself, a lot of JP veterans, and a lot of people who are playing the game right now. We're more than happy to help you out. If you just go check that check out that description box down below. I also got links to different uh, types of social media. If you want to follow me there, you can Watch me stream, uh, fake go in different games at twitch.tv slash Tuglo. And last but not least, if you'd like to become a patron and help your boy make the dream become a reality, hit me up at patreon.com slash Tuglo. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, that's the bells are ringing, the fat lady singing. If you got any questions, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and all that other good stuff. Thank you so much. And until the next video, peace out. Thank you.